Welcome to the introduction video of how to create a classic Sudoku game with a Unity. In this course, you're going to learn about everything about uh, buttons and canvas system and all the other stuff. We're going to look into four different game modes. We're going to design this rather quickly together. We're going to have the possibility to change the mode or actually set a mode. And also we have the possibility to give ourselves some hints. And we can also check if we have one or not. What we now can do is whenever the board is created, you can see this grayed out numbers are not being selectable because we make them not interactable. For the white ones, which we probably are able to solve because of the game mode directly, like for example, this number over here would represent a one since we have a one and a one over here. We're going to be able to select one of these buttons where we want to fill in data and can give it any value. Also, as you can see, these are represented with other number of colors. And if we don't like what we see or if we need a hint because we have trouble somewhere, we can take this hint and let ourselves get this one. Depending on the game mode, we have the possibility to set a different number of hints we can actually take a look at. So as you can see in my medium mode, I have one, two, three, four, five, six hints I can take and then I can try to continue and fill all the other corresponding data into the complete Sudoku grid. Once we are done with that, of course, we show a little game over scene or you win screen or something like that. And then you have the possibility to play again, as well as go back to the menu and probably check out any other of these modes. I hope to see you in the course. If you are interested in how to create a Sudoku games, feel free to check in and find out.